Midlands police chief has admitted that at times he has no idea how to solve the country's youth violence epidemic. Chief Superintendent Mike O'Hara said the volume of incidents and the age of those involved is of huge concern. There's a part of me that sort of goes, I have no idea how the hell we're going to solve this. How do we tackle it? It's, a, it's such a wicked problem. Meanwhile, Home Secretary Priti Patel's new wave of tough measures include knife ASBOs, which the courts can impose on those they believe are potential offenders. Judges could impose curfews and even limit a would-be offender's internet usage. But critics, like the chair of the all-party group on knife crime, Sarah Jones, says it's criminalising the young people who've already been let down by the system. Well, earlier we debated the issue with knife crime campaigner Cheryl Phoenix and former police officer Dr David Lowe. If, you, if you're carrying a sharply bladed instrument, like a knife, uh, it, it is a lethal weapon. Knives do kill, uh, and they seriously injure. We, we, we saw that with the police officer uh, the other week in the Metropolitan Police area. And age doesn't matter. There was a police officer who was killed last week where one of the suspects is 13 years of age. So if you're carrying a weapon and you are stopped and searched, then there is that possibility that we'll take this action. If you're not carrying a weapon, you're going about your business like most people will be, and most young people, then they won't be, uh, there won't be a requirement for this so order to be why does it affect communities, then, if people are stopped and searched and they have nothing to hide? Well, the fact is it does affect communities, and it has been proven time after time that stop and search generally kind of doesn't actually work. It's like when you look at the amount of convictions that come from stop, stops and search, it isn't... It's completely disproportionate, and it is disproportionate to the African okay, Caribbean community. Let's, and I know stop and search is, is something that's discussed so often, but this yeah. idea of ASBOs, getting those who are posing a risk, get them off the streets, and also, what are 12-year-olds doing on the streets anyway? What are they the doing with a knife? What, are they, what will the 12-year-old be doing with a knife first and foremost? Why don't we actually deal with the causes rather than wait until something bad happens and say, oh, we need to throw in ASBOs? All of these little things that the governments and ministers keep doing are trying to put a plaster over a broken leg. They don't work. They haven't worked historically. Try and deal with the roots of these things. Stop 12-year-olds being on the street. Yes, give them things to do. Stop them being groomed by older people. So, do you know what I mean? We have to stop and that And of course, first. I suppose, Cheryl, David, here's a point that many are carrying knives in self-defence anyway. They're worried. So why should they be guilty if they're carrying it for that reason? Well, this is the vicious circle, isn't it, Bill? Uh, you know, they, they say, well, I'm carrying it for my own defence. And, and this is not new. This has been going on for many years. Uh, even when I was a serving officer, you, you had this sort of view of, I'm there to protect myself. But the whole, the whole point is, we've, we've got to start somewhere. We have to make this start. And they, uh, the whole point is, we have to make people safe. And I hope, hand in glove, this goes with an increase in uh, policing numbers. Because you still can't beat uniform patrol on the street that's helping to prevent crime. Yeah. More, and, uh, so let's ask Cheryl, more police on the beat. More police on the beat is great, but we need more provisions for young people. Right now, we've got young people roaming the streets. This is the summer holidays. A lot of them have nowhere no, to no go. There's no excuse if you're bored to carry a knife. It's and not an excuse somebody. to say that you're bored, but a lot of these young people are groomed by older people with threats of sexual exploitation, beaten up of their parents. Now, as a young person, and you're in a vulnerable position at 12 years old, what do you actually know at 12? So if they force you to carry a knife, if they force you to carry drugs, why is this not being dealt with? If they have somewhere safe to be during the Day and after school, then we wouldn't have this issue. I ran a youth club. I had 186 children every single week. Now that says that there is a need, but if they're being closed down everywhere and we're criminalising the same people we're supposed to be protecting, then this is not going to work.